Eddie, the Sydney Hobart is well underway. The drama continues with 21 retirements in the opening 18 hours of racing. The fleet dwindling to 67. David Witt's Super Maxi Scallywag won the race out of the harbour, but a sail fitting problem pushed it behind Christian Beck's Law Connect. They're now making their way down the south coast. Scallywag overnight gaining pace, currently in second place to the leader, Blackjack, that's where they are at the moment, almost down to Marimbula and just, just past there. Joining me now, Director of the Cruising Yacht Club of Australia, Noel Cornish. Noel, good to see you. We spoke yesterday about the pounding they would get last night and it sounds like the weather delivered. It certainly has. It's been a tough night out there for the cruise, Mark. Uh, the subtly's been sort of up to 30 knots, which is not a bad subtly. You know, you can see 50 knots easy sometimes going to Hobart, but... It's not but the combination of the current running north to south has actually stood the sea up. So it's been a very, very difficult seaway. Uh, so those crews really know they're, 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 uh, they're into it at the moment. It was a beautiful start on the harbour yesterday. Uh, what do you expect weather-wise now? Do you think we'll see more retirements or are they through the worst of it? Well, I think we've now... The latest I heard this morning, we've just been going through the, the first skid this morning. We've got 23... Uh, yachts have retwi retired. It's mainly damage to sail, the sails that have caused the problem, uh, the mainsail in particular. Uh, we had a couple of injuries. One one fellow's got a, a dislocated shoulder, which I'm, uh, you know, well, the deal with that at the medical place. But uh, and other than that, just minor. Uh, so there's not not any serious injury gone on, but uh, both uh, mainsails have really been the the main cause mm. of the retirements. Well, this suddenly, it'll start to abate, uh, according to the weather forecast, and it moves into a very tricky period for the navigators that we've been speaking about for the last couple of days. The, the weather patterns uh, will have transitions between them, and the navigators will really earn their money getting between these transitions and, uh, and getting their boats closer to Hobart. Yeah, and, and Noel Blackjack out in front, as we've seen on the tracker, what's your expectation for a finish? When do we get the line honours winner across the line in Hobart? Yeah, well, I'm just the latest on that now, Mark, is uh, I've just heard that at 6.27, Law Connect was the first boat to pass Green Cape. So we have a call in at Green Cape before Yacht Centre Bass Strait and Law Connect's out in front at the moment, but they're neck and neck. They're just battling all the way. But uh, Law Connect just nudged in front for the Green Cape uh, sked. Uh, but the modelling's looking like two and a bit days to get down there, so... So in the afternoon of the 29th, I think, uh, if the modelling is correct, uh, we look like seeing those line on as uh, boats coming into Hobart. Oh, we look forward to it. It's a great race and great to see a neck-and-neck -neck tussle. Noel, thank you very much. Good luck. Uh, Eddie, back to you. <laughs>